Brian, what's on your radar? Well, with two and a half weeks until the presidential runoff in Chile, one of the two candidates is hoping that a trip to the U.S. will be a boon to his candidacy. As we covered here before Thanksgiving, the first round of the presidential election in Chile last month had a very rising type of finish, with the centrist establishment candidates getting crushed and the candidates of the right and the left both making it into the runoff. The right-wing candidate, Jose Antonio Cast, finished first, but is now trailing in the polls, and he took time off the campaign trail yesterday for a meeting in Washington with Senator Marco Rubio, who is sort of the de facto representative of the Latin American right in the Senate. What's disturbing about this new right, however, is just how fond it is of the old right. In Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro often speaks fondly of the military dictatorship there, saying openly that the country is worse off for having moved on from it. Now, Cast is often referred to as the Bolsonaro of Chile, and he's had plenty of kind words for the rule of Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet. If Pinochet were alive, he would have voted for me, Cast has said. Now, this is more than just a fleeting affection. Cast's family has deep ties to the dictatorship. His father, Michael Cast, was a lieutenant in the Nazi army before fleeing to Chile and raising his sons who shared his far-right politics. One son, Miguel Cast, was appointed by Pinochet to be Minister of Labor and then President of the Central Bank. He was one of the so-called Chicago Boys, a collection of young economists trained by Milton Friedman set loose on Chile to launch a neoliberal experiment that saw social spending slashed and wealth funneled upwards to the very rich. Christian Cast, according to journalist Javier Rebiodo's book A la Sombra de los Cuervos, was linked to peasant massacres under, under Pinochet, and Jose Antonio Cast campaigned against the plebiscite that rewrote the Chilean constitution and paved the way for Pinochet's removal. Cast has said, quote, I'm not a Pinocheista, but I value everything he did, adding that the dictatorship, quote, laid the foundations of modernity. Cast, though, is looking to roll back some of that modernity and is running on a pledge to prohibit abortion, eliminate the Ministry of Women and Gender Equity, withdraw from the UN Human Rights Council, and expand prison construction. On November 21st, cast and leftist Gabriel Boric finished in the top two in the first round of voting, 28% for cast and 26% for Boric. They both edged out the centrist candidates in the race, and that's what created the need for a December 19th runoff. With polls showing Boric moving into the lead, Cast's trip to Washington and his visit with Rubio is an effort to burnish his international reputation. So Chileans elected Salvador Allende in 1970, the first socialist to come to power in South America through the ballot box. And the United States worked relentlessly to undermine him, with President Richard Nixon famously ordering policymakers to, quote, make the economy scream in order to, quote, prevent Allende from coming to power or to unseat him. It became official CIA policy to support his overthrow by coup, and in September 1973, Pinochet assaulted the presidential palace, and Allende took his own life rather than be captured. Pinochet tortured, executed, executed and disappeared thousands as he consolidated his power, and he served as dictator until 1990. In 2017, Cast proposed immediate pardons for incarcerated former members of Pinochet's military regime. Asked this October by a journalist why the proposal was absent from his current presidential platform, Cass said that his plan had actually not changed, but he noted that it would only apply to regime members who are now of advanced age, which would apply to all of them. Cast, meanwhile, has repeatedly downplayed the violence associated with Pinochet's regime. Cast has said, quote, the armed forces did not use force to seize power, but to reclaim Chile. He's also said that, quote, in the military government, they did many things for the human rights of other people. That, of course, is utterly absurd, but it's useful to pay attention to what's happening in Chile because this open reverence for authoritarianism is a growing phenomenon around the world, not just in Brazil or Chile. Here in the U.S., many people aren't familiar with the atrocities of the Brazilian military dictatorship, but most people have at least heard of Pinochet. You've known your whole life that Pinochet was on the wrong side of history, and we were on the wrong side of history to help get him into power and help keep him there. Don't start second-guessing yourself now. He's still on the wrong side of history, and so is anybody trying to rehabilitate him. And so here in the U.S., you see a disturbing amount of support for Bolsonaro. You also have started to see kind of right-wing people on Twitter 
do the kind of helicopter jokes mm -hmm. that, you know, re a reference to the way that Pinochet would take uh, political uh, opponents in a helicopter over the Pacific Ocean and dump them. Uh, and you, you, you kind of see that joke as like, this is what we're going to do to like Democrats if we get into power. But the same people making those jokes and the same people that are, that are celebrating Bolsonaro and are celebrating Cast, they know that's wrong. They know they're on the wrong side of history. And I understand that there's this drift toward authoritarianism and, and it's, it, it can be intoxicating. But I would just hope people would remember back to the time when they understood that that, that was wrong and that we can be better than that. Yeah, uh, there is a lusting for strongman type power uh, on the on, on the right, a growing um, affection for that kind of uh, kind of regime. Uh, it, it's it's happening on the left too. I think that for the uh, you know not just for the economic right, socialism, but for the kind of political repression that also occurred under left wing. Yeah, too many regimes. guillotine like the guillotine meme. Yeah, not or the tankies, not funny. Not the tankies. Funny. Those yeah. are the uh, the lefties who uh, who support <laughs> military <laughs> communism. Um, or they claim to. Right. Yeah. Right, well, just, well, just well, like right. some of the helicopter people. But you're right, it starts with, it's funny to say right. this, and but it, it's, you know you're not supposed to think this and that this is wrong, and you yourself kind of think it's wrong, but it's it's like showing, a, it's like a, this, how is, is, or oh, this is how we right out team. extreme one right. another or something. I mean, there's a group of people, especially we were talking about online, which is like, how can I say the most obnoxious um, extreme thing and like trigger the other side, right? And yeah. now it's it's this kind of it's you know no we should have actual Marxism or no we should have actual right. fascism or that kind right. of thing. Um, but yeah, it's you know it's uh, and it, it's a trend not just in South America but you know everywhere we're yeah. we're the we're past the end of you know the end of history right the the neo neoliberal democracy had won and there would be no other kind of political government that could ever D democracy, compete right <laughs> right and uh, it's uh, history is not over yeah and all I'm saying is you you can, you can either be that guy or you can not you actually do have a choice yeah right. we'll see anyway we will have more rising right after this.